That's right. That's right. The way God intended. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Christmas movies from everywhere. Is it Dracula? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Dan, and I despise Christmas movies from everywhere. I'm Jax, and I'm <laughs> super excited about Christmas movies from everywhere. I'm Alonzo, and I'm just delighted to have a preview episode of my own, and uh, this is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Brandon and friends host his podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Ba, ba, ba. Hello, oh, everybody. Man. Merry Christmas to you. Another week is here. Another preview show. Unfortunately, the last preview show of the year. Yeah, uh, another, uh, well, until mid November, we can get to that last preview episode. I think that actually <laughs> technically is one the last week of December for the January movie. <laughs> Stop but that's it. either here. We'll, we'll cross that bridge. Can we just put them all in a season, preview show season, and then we'll have like a release of the preview shows and we do a preview of the preview shows? Why do you make a mock? Season. Go on. I, I'm liking this so far. Yeah. <laughs> Could we turn all this into just a press junket? Could Would we turn watch? it into one, one big press junket? That's all we need to do. Um, so typically, this is the uh, deck, the Netflix crew. Um, last year, we had plenty of the truth from Netflix has scaled back a little bit as far as uh, Christmas movies that they're putting out this year. We will be uh, dipping our toes into a couple of different things um, uh, in December. But uh, I also, there's some friends of ours that are putting out some stuff that I thought it would be fun to preview. So a friend of ours is directing a movie mm -hmm, that I thought mm -hmm. it would be fun to preview uh, on top of our already uh, Netflix stuff. That but also, have. Lindsay Lohan's going to be in a Christmas movie. Uh, will Ferrell, Ryan Reynolds are going to be in a Christmas movie. Yeah. So there's some, there's some big shows. Some stuff we got to some stuff we have to talk about but first alonzo jacks merry christmas to you both of you Merry uh, Christmas. how are we feeling about the hallmark christmas movies so far this year uh that we have seen uh, jacks yeah, I, am, I, I, I am cautiously optimistic like i think that um i've what what i feel like is we can really count on the performances to be top notch. And for me as an actor, and that's usually what I'm looking for most, I'm happy to see that. Some of the plots and things are maybe not what I would choose. Um, or yeah, but I'm enjoying the fact Not enough that hats. Not, not enough hats. hats. Yeah. Not yeah. More as hats. A serious <laughs> actor who relies on a variety yeah. of hats. <laughs> Chapeau. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I have to say for two weeks in, like we've already seen a couple of real bangers, you know, like I think, I think Jolly Good Christmas was really good. Will Kemp's accent, notwithstanding. Aside, that's right. Um, I, I really liked uh, Ghost of Christmas. I Always. Mean, come on. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, given that, you know, usually we've seen a lot of times these sort of the pre Halloweens are kind of a burn off. They're already like hitting them out of the park. And so it's like, if they're, if they're launching stuff that's this good, this early, then yeah. one can only imagine that what's coming in the, in the thick of the season is going to be even better. We're I was be exploding uh, during, uh, during Thanksgiving week. And I mean, we better uh, be. I, I was an hour into ghost of christmas always and already upset at whomever decided the sunday night before halloween was where this movie should go <laughs> because it's the the closest thing that i felt to feel like i was watching a real movie like it was like yep that they, they were doing a lot of different but it things. was a ghost it's that a ghost, ghost halloween yeah it's ghost halloween but it, i Love can't imagine guy. people like but you hit it the, the ratings were not good because it was the sunday night one i like I don't know. I, 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 you know, I have a suspicion, and we'll get to this this movie soon. I think they wanted to launch it before Spirited because yeah. part of Spirited's whole thing is, oh, it's the first movie to to do this from the POV of the ghosts, and Hallmark's like, not so fast. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll that do it first. Better. That's right. <laughs> I do have really good news for you if you like terrible movies, and I hope you're sitting, sitting down, but Father Christmas is Back that we reviewed last year <laughs> is getting a sequel this year. Uh-huh. 
And that and sequel is, is direct to DVD. Direct to DVD. Bypassing Netflix entirely. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's well, right. I and, couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe uh, it. Apparently, Elizabeth Hurley likes that director so much, she made a whole other movie with him called Christmas in the Caribbean that's going to open in theaters. Oh, right. Theaters? Yeah. Theaters. Uh, and, and well, theaters and VOD the same day. Oh, yeah, but still. Yeah. Um, it, theater. Uh, there's one theater. Uh, probably, she, exactly. She, she's ready four wall to house in LA. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, we're, exactly right. we're completionists around here, but I don't think we're going to be covering no, that. No, no, oh, simple. please, no. Good, I, good, good. I already had to do the California Christmas sequel. I think there are limits for this. Oh, we do have Christmas in Carolina follow-ups uh, to, oh, yes. to view, yes, which I'm do. very excited about. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I'm intrigued by uh, the Peacock of it all and how the Hallmark movie is being available on Peacock. More readily available for at least three days for people that uh, yes. want to watch it that way. I don't think but most you- people knew about Hallmark TV and that if you had a cable writer, you could watch it on there. But the fact that you could do it with Peacock and depending on your plan, you can have it without ads. Is yeah, if you're, a, if you're a cord cutter, you can now live stream Hallmark, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries and Hallmark Drama on Peacock. And you can watch the, some of the movies in Spanish, which I've never seen offered before. Last night I watched Navidad and Evergreen. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a, it was something else. Ashley Williams's dubber does not necessarily sound like her, but she was good. She's good. Oh, there you go. But the best way to watch it with DVR is obviously the Philo TV. Philo of course. TV. Of course. The best the way one, to do it. The one button ad skip. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it still revolutionizes the game in every aspect. Every aspect. Shout out to Philo. Shout out to Philo. Um, guys, let's preview some movies, shall we? Yes. Would love to. Le- we're not gonna we're not more. gonna ease into this we're going to how many movies how many creams out of what out of five flicks out of what what are we doing uh, let's see uh, five, i think we're uh, doing nine, cable knit sweaters nine what is this thing or we'll preview nine i believe yeah nine um movies. and we have uh, two creams two creams got and it. we are doing it out of uh, fr- frosty's pipe uh the, okay. the, uh okay out of out of out of ugly Christmas sweaters. Ugly Christmas sweaters. One, five mm. ugly Christmas sweaters. Uh, up first, Falling for Christmas, a movie that has uh, had a buzz for a long time now. It's starring Lynn Han. We, we know her. We, we love her. And Cord Overstreet, everybody. The Cord Overstreet? From Glee. Name Ooh. that Cord. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, it's premiering uh, Thursday, November 10th on the Netflix, um, a newly engaged spoiled hotel heiress gets into a skiing accident, suffers from total 100% amnesia, 100%. That just says total. I, just, I, I added the 100% and finds herself in the care of a handsome blue collar lodge owner and his precocious daughter in the days leading up to Christmas. Boy, howdy. Uh, Jax, I'll start off with you. Um, so as someone just noted in the chat, um, I'm really excited about this one because Jack Wagner's in it. Yeah. Um, Duh. I, I'm not a huge Lindsay Lohan fan, nor was I a Glee fan, even though this is all growing. Like, I was growing up then. It should all be, like – what I'm interested in pop culture wise. It's just not. Um, I think she looks really good in this. She's got a fun outfit on when she falls off of the mountain in the trailer, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that intrigued by the amnesia <sighs> plot or Lindsay. So I'm going to go ahead and for Jack Wagner, give this two ugly Christmas sweaters. I'm shocked by that. Take. This is uh this take is blowing me. for someone that found a way to like every episode of when calls the heart <laughs> to be this <laughs> hard on it. On a trailer is just patently absurd. Wait, can I can I say this though? I think that I I know it's the same way when I watch theater that my friends are in. Now that we know the people in the Hallmark universe better, I it's hard for me not to look at them as people that I adore. Whereas, like, I can be a little bit more objective here, and I'm not feeling this. You're not a low hand stand. I'm not a low hand stand. When you said you know her, you love her. I was like, I know her. Eh? 
Oh, all right. But not Alon- well enough to kiss her ass, apparently. That's no, right. no, okay. no. Uh, I Alonzo, see how it is. where are you at? On uh, I am a low hand Stan, uh, and I may be too old for that. But like, you know, I, I, I have always been rooting for her. I want her to fulfill her, uh, uh, you know, potential as I think a really talented comedian, actress, singer, all that stuff. I think she's got a lot going for her. She's gone through some rough stuff. You know, I think the parents have a lot to say about that. Um so I would love for this to be the beginning of the low Um And, oh, you know, I, 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 I like an amnesia plot. You know, we had, they did it to Mira Sorvino. And then there was the one with, uh, They've done this a couple times on Hallmark. I know the 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 the, the amnesia uh, thing. Christmas so, on know, my mind with Andrew. Thank Walker. you, thank. Yep. You. Oh well, no, but also a Christmas to remember with uh-huh. uh, with Peter Port and Ali Lieber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, and of course, this has a lot of uh, overboard about it too. And yeah, I'm dubbing for- this movie. I'm dubbing this movie Snowverboard, which is oh, just nice. It's Very overboard good. with snow. Is all it yes. is. It's basically but- that's the whole movie. Let's not right. forget that Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton were like super besties and then had a very famous like falling out. So the idea that Lindsay is playing a spoiled hotel heiress, I think, is going right. to allow her to like oh, snap. get in some digs on her former BFF. Yeah. So I'm 2008. For this is spicy 2008. Yeah. You know, yes. Alonso, now that you're saying that, it's spilling the tea. You're getting me intrigued. Mama loves a bit of hot sauce. Thought I you do, might. I Thought you might. Yeah. So yeah. I don't- I, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm so I'm I'm four ugly sweaters for this one. I'm very excited and I I, I hope this is the this is the beginning of, of great things for Ms. Lohan. I uh yeah, I'm excited about this one. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I I, I like Alonzo uh love and Mija, uh in movies. <laughs> uh and uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm happy to see L- uh, Lindsay Lohan back. I've loved her since Get a Clue. Uh, the Disney Channel original movie that you absolutely should watch. It's an absolute banger. Just recently rewatched it. Uh, she's starring o- opposite Alfalfa from uh, Little Rascals fame, <laughs> who I believe is a little bit crazy now. Uh, but, so, I think, you know, maybe that's what set them both off. Um, but yes, Lindsay Lohan, good to have her back. And I'm, uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm also going to go with four Christmas sweaters. Uh, and yes, Dan. So I was when like, I believe the parent trap came out the one that she was in. I think I was like 16 and just a little too cool for it. I remember watching it later going, this girl can really, really act. And then yeah. she was in two or three vehicles that allowed her to act. And then all of a one sudden, one of them was an actual vehicle, Herbie fully loaded. <laughs> now You're welcome everybody. You're welcome. Is a man. I'll be here all day. Uh, yeah. And, and then all the obviously an Altman movie. Yeah, obviously the thing obviously things went wayward. And so so I never was a huge fan of hers. Something about me is pulling for her. I, I don't know what what about it that it is that's pulling for her. I don't know if overboard but with snow is the vehicle to really get her back on track, but who knows? And I'm gonna give this uh two ugly Christmas sweaters and a cream for intrigue. Ooh, a cream for intrigue. We love that because band. I'm, I'm intrigued with the possibility that Lindsay Lohan could be doing something where like, I remember trying to watch her in like Georgia rule or I know who killed me. And it's like, I'm just watching Lindsay Lohan stumble through lines. And I, if she can find a way to like create a character here and get back to the thing that she could do so effortlessly, then then good for her. So cream for intrigue. There you go. Mark, I love Mark that. Down is the only time ever that I'll give a lower score than Dan. You gave it two. <laughs> you, we gave it the two, same. But two, my no two. No cream. Yeah, no cream. That's right. But tip that to go to the judges. My rating is not any higher. The creams. The creams. Oh, okay. The creams okay. don't matter. <laughs> but <laughs> but creams don't tone, matter. Tonally, tonally, I will say Dan did seem higher. That's right. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. uh, and a Dan two is the equivalent of a Jax five. That's true. Yes. Yes. That's true. Yes. Yeah. ABC. Yeah. A Jax uh, two. That's a dumpster fire. Yes. That is an absolute train wreck. You guys have now made me a low hand stand. I'm ready for low hand palooza and low low hand-a-sons is well, low hand-a-sons. Low hand-a-sons. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Um, one week later, it's Ben. Uh, we have Christmas with you on Netflix. Uh, it's starring uh, Amy Garcia and Freddie Prince Jr. The Freddie Prince Jr. of WWE Super Fan Fame. What? Uh, he loves wrestling. Uh, feeling career burnt out. 
I'm feeling a little career burnt out. <laughs> uh, pop star Angelina escapes to grant a young fan's wish in small town New York, uh, where she not only finds the inspiration to vitalize her career, but also for shot true love with a wrestling fan. <laughs> I threw that last part. Um, I actually believe that Freddie Prince Jr. is like on the creative team at WWE. Like he's a huge fan. I don't think anyone um, cares but you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fun fact. I'm not saying I care. I'm not saying I care. I have, I, unlike you, have a fun fact about Freddie Prince Jr. What do you have? He was in a uh, several films in the '90s. She's all that. So, Great. Some, Summer Catch. Scooby but what about Doo. now? Uh, he's married to Sarah Michelle Gellar still, from what I understand. A okay, successful that's Hollywood marriage, which is rare. That's right. We that's do right. love that. Yeah, and seems to be really cool with not being famous anymore. Like in yeah. tweets and stuff and interviews, he seems like completely thrilled with his life and just like, yeah, make fun of me all you want, bro. Like I count money and I do whatever I want. Like it, he's great. Like he, he does seem to be really great about it, and that that works out well. Do you want to know why him and Macaulay Culkin are friends? I, they sure. both love professional wrestling. Uh, Jax, <laughs> let's start with you. Uh, what, what are you thinking about this one? Well, boy, howdy. I'm excited about this one. I, I think that this looks like a lot of fun. I love a young girl's journey to connect with her idol. I like that her dad is playing music with her idol. I like the New York City setting. I mean, I know she's connecting in small town New York, but it starts off in New York City. I think this looks like a lot of fun and really, really sweet. It was giving me Christmassy vibes in the trailer, and it looks like Freddie Prince Jr. and Amy Garcia have really good chemistry, so I'm excited to see how this plays out. Uh, what are you giving it? <laughs> I'm going to give it four ugly Christmas sweaters. No cream. No cream. No cream. No, you guys, I'm saying my cream. Saying cream. That's right. All right. Are you going to cream say my creams. I'm going to cream myself. You can't twice. do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so lot, double creams allowed. A lot, a lot of, <laughs> um, this seems like I saw this movie like earlier this year and yeah. it was called Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez. I just um, watched Marry Me like a couple weeks ago. Well, you're about to watch it again, apparently. I, I kind of uh, loved it. I no, I totally enjoyed it, but I marry just don't know me, that I want to marry me. Say yes. I, I don't know that I want to see the Netflix Christmas version of that. I do think Freddie Prince Jr. is a charming actor. Like I remember seeing him. His first film was a a, a movie that I saw at Sundance called The House of Yes with uh, with yeah. Parker Posey, and I remember like it was one of the few years that I actually attended the award ceremony and this was before like Sundance became like what it is now. And so like everybody just sort of milled around afterwards, famous people, non-famous people. And I wound up sitting at a table next to Freddie Prince Jr. I was like, I really enjoyed you in that film. And then he became Freddie Prince Jr. Um, and you guys talked yeah. about professional wrestling? Or? We, it did not come up, strangely ah. enough. Um, I, apparently, he was also a Scooby-Doo super fan, which is like kind of how that movie got made, apparently. That's right. So, like, good on him. Um, but, yeah, I, it, uh, this all sounds a little contrived. It'll be nice to see him again. So I'm going to say two and a half ugly Christmas sweaters. So I guess one of them is like a shrug. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that's a no cream. I uh, I know it seems like I know a lot about Freddie Prince Jr. No, you um, just keep saying the wrestling thing in different ways. I actually <laughs> don't think I've seen a single Freddie Prince Jr. movie aside from Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, well, you I, miss Boys and Girls. I <laughs> uh, I was able to catch another one of his independent films called She's All That at uh, Regal <laughs> Hollywood Twenty on Woodruff Road. I heard of that one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There was a dinner afterwards as well. Uh, was, was he there? Whole, whole, yeah, yeah, <laughs> was he there? Yeah. yeah. Um, Rachel Lee Cook is also in She's All That playing. That's right. Young Rachel Parker Lee Posey. Cook is in She's All That. Uh, oh, sorry. Is is also in House of Yes, rather. <laughs> oh yeah. wow! But Parker no. Posey's the show there. I mean, she's well, so yeah. incredibly wonderful. I mean, come on. Um, no question. Yeah, none of this intrigues me in the slightest. Um, <laughs> but I do have this uh, like awful like I'm Freddie Prince Jr. seems like a great guy. But my only experience watching Freddie Prince is in those like handful of movies that were for teenagers. And I was like a later teenager and thought I thought they were just 
like bleh, bleh. so i don't like you're not, too you're too few for sounding incredibly old so far so you're doing a great job so i uh you know i don't I have any, at those teenage movies and i, I, I do sound old i don't new have panda. any rest i don't have <laughs> any wrestling panda. takes i don't have any wrestling takes there's nothing yes, I can you do. do i have no Bull wrestling Oda, takes. you don't have wrestling i don't takes. have any wrestling i takes. know for a fact you have wrestling takes no way. stop it <laughs> we have sat in a tiny room in costa rica and rocks wrestlemania no, together let me tell you what happened we were in costa rica and this guy goes do you want to watch wrestlemania and i was like we're in costa rica what are you talking about he goes i downloaded before i left the country the latest wrestlemania <laughs> i thought it would and be then fun he to talk watch. me through the matches so that i would have an opinion but then the undertaker no. the undertaker came out and you got goosebumps just no, like everyone no, else no you tried to transfer when, your when though when the gong Don't. hits <laughs> anyway um, no it's a zero for me sorry no. <laughs> um, Zero. Oh. Zero. I don't have any. This sounds generic. It sounds bad. And I, I hope that I'm wrong, but zero. I'm indifferent and on this. I, I'm giving I it. I do just want to say the fact that you were rooting for Lindsay Lohan so hard, but my boy, Freddie Prince Jr. can't even get a little bit of that enthusiasm. But, my, but here's my thing is that Freddie's comfortable. Like Freddie doesn't need a, Fre a Prince on a bounce back. Like he yeah. doesn't need that. A Prince back. He doesn't need, he doesn't need another chance and i think Lindsay lohan was done wrong and needs another chance so were you a big freddie prince stan growing up like all those movies like you're younger than me all those movies hit for you Jax? they, they did they hit and also yeah. i just love the fact that he knows that his wife is like the real star and is just happy to support that yeah exactly that's my favorite thing about him i think not mad about Freddie, just mad about this movie and having to preview it. And Wait, then we watch. skipped we skipped Brand's uh, rating. Yes, uh, three uh, Christmas sweaters, three uh, flying elbow drops, and one championship <laughs> belt from Brand. Uh, three, three, three ugly Christmas sweaters. Um, one for marry me. Uh, thanks for bringing up marry me. I uh, love it. Uh, another one. Uh, for another generic title that I will forget. And one more for The Undertaker, who uh, <laughs> I love. Um, oh boy, what a weekend we have here, everybody. Um, a week later, A Christmas Story Christmas. You know I had to talk mm -hmm. about it. You know I had to bring it up. HBO Max streaming everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean HBO Max. Uh, Thursday, November 17th. Um, Ralphie returns to the house on Cleveland Street to deliver his kids a magical Christmas like the ones he had growing up with the same attention to real life tone of the first, which isn't actually the first, isn't that right? Uh, it's not the actual yeah, first round. Uh, Ralphie reconnects with childhood friends, reconciles the passing of his old man, and sows the seeds for the origins of of the beloved holiday classic. Jax, are you a Christmas story fan? Okay, so yeah, here's gonna come all the stuff where I'm gonna be very oh, unpopular. No. I, I'm not I'm not a Christmas story fan, so therefore it's hard oh. for me to get excited about this. What do you what mean I, you're not a Christmas story fan? Can you try she through like, that? She doesn't like people the, or things. The, <laughs> <laughs> and all the all around Christmas vibes. The only part I remember is when it, he gets – honestly, here's, here's what I'm excited about for this. I decide when I watch this trailer, I know that this is good. And I know there's so much nostalgia in here. There's good acting. I am going to now, as an adult, sit down, watch A Christmas Story, take it in, and experience it through adult eyes and – hopefully that will make me be really excited about this. I can only imagine that like one of my favorite movies when I was a kid, like about kids was now and then if they did like a reboot of that, where like the older ones were now grandparent age. And then we have the teens that are grown up and then they have kids or whatever. I would be all over this. So I can imagine for other people, this is super exciting. So I'm going to give it three ugly Christmas sweaters and I am going to use one of my creams because wow. I'm really hopeful that I'm going to get into this fandom because of this movie. When was the last time you watched Christmas Story? Honestly, I don't even remember. It's probably okay. 11 yeah. or 12. And Are like, you I don't can you watch sense. that? Can you watch it before you watch the second one, please? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm actually planning on watching it this weekend. Fantastic. So I can okay. like Got prepare. It. Okay, Alonzo. I'll tell you, I don't love a Christmas story. I like it just fine. Uh, like and I'm, just, old, yeah. I'm old. I'm old enough where it was a movie I thought was like fine. And then I witnessed it sort of become like 
our national Christmas movie, you know, in the same way that, that it's a wonderful life did through the same technique of like constant airing. Um, so I'm not mad at a Christmas story. Uh, I do know, however, that there have been multiple attempts to do sequels in the past and they have all been disastrous. Uh, I've watched at least one of them and they were, you know, it was not good, but they didn't have Peter Billingsley. They That's didn't right. have, you know, Zach Ward and a lot of these other, the, the, the kid actors being, you know, kind of repurposed. And so clearly they're digging in to like make this one, like forget all those. It's, it's like, it's like when David Gordon Green took over Halloween, forget all those sequels. None of that happened. We're picking up. This is where we're picking up. This is the one, right. the official, like, you know, where we're going. So I'm intrigued and curious and I hope they get it right. And I love Julie Haggerty, who is stepping in for Melinda Dillon as the mom. Um, but I'm also a little trepidatious. So I'm going to split it down the middle and say three. Three ugly <laughs> Thank you for going right down the middle. Stop. The way that God intended. I know I'm talking this. <laughs> I'm uh, I love a Christmas story very much. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I, I am of the opinion that sequels don't count unless a, a part of a, a good a majority of the original cast was in it. Okay. Like it's not they a real. They don't count otherwise. They don't count otherwise, which okay. is why I don't count. This gives me hope that we will get a real true Jingle All the Way sequel. Uh, where Jake Lloyd comes back and plays like, you know, but we'll cross that road when we get there. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm very excited about this. Five Christmas sweaters and a cream. Wow. Um, I I have a really good feeling about this one. Got a so, really good feeling about this one. Based off of what I saw from HBO Max last year with how much I loved 8-Bit, I, uh, I'm feeling like we might be able to do something real special here. So this is why we work well together. I'm terrified about this movie. I, no. I I remember I never saw Christmas Story till I was in middle school, and a buddy of mine who is like dear friend in, in middle school just kept talking about how it's like the best thing ever. I remember watching it at his house and being like, that's it? Like, that was the whole thing? And then it just kind of That warped. is the most it's, damn thing I've ever heard it, in my it's life. It's just kind of, but it was like a war of attrition. Like, like Alonzo said, like over the years, it became this nostalgia of nostalgia. Like it became this thing that like is so perfect in its imperfection that you just, it's it, the memory of it are hazy. Like they're hazy around the outside. Like it's this thing that captures, you know, any town USA at Christmas. And, and, and so I'm anytime someone sets out to do something in the spirit of the original and tries to force that it typically is a disaster. Um, I, I hope I'm wrong. I would love for this to be good and fun and all the things that the other one represents. Um, and so I am going to actually split it down the middle and go 2.5 ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> So. I just said that because I knew y'all would have a fun. Yeah, yeah, a little less than half. <laughs> Alonzo's like, I like a good bit, but I do know math, and I want to be clear. <laughs> yes. So you uh, are you going to cream it? No, no. I, I'm very nervous. Like, not. I did not watch Eight Bit Christmas. Never saw it. I'm very nervous about it's this. It's kind of a remake of a Christmas story, actually, but in in a good way, though. Yeah, yeah. I heard. It was Can great. I just have a quick question about the creaming? <laughs> what it, it's if you're like. It's if you were. It's like a cherry on top. Okay. It's like okay. I just want to so point out. I just want to okay. highlight this one. I just want to. Yeah. I want to everyone to know that this has a, my, a little bit right. more of my attention. It's like if you okay. were looking at like if you were getting ready, like you're looking at the WrestleMania card, <laughs> and you yeah. highlight Undertaker's match. Mm -hmm. Like that's what this is. That's why you can't cream twice because that's like a hat on a hat. Right hat on a hat. Because if you cream. if you Which highlight too much, yeah, yeah, yeah. you won't be able to see it anymore though. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> next day. Wow. Apple TV Plus. Spirited. Boy. Um, uh, November 18th. Each Christmas Eve, the ghost of Miss Present, played by Will Ferrell, uh, selects one dark soul to be reformed by a visit from three spirits. We've heard the story. Uh, but this season, he picked the wrong Scrooge. Oh, interesting. I've seen this movie. Um, yeah. Clint Briggs, played by Ryan Reynolds, turned the tables on his ghostly on his ghostly host. Okay, got it. Here we go. Turns the tables on his ghostly host until present finds himself re-examining his own past, present, and future. Octavia uh, Octavia Spencer co-stars. 
You don't even give them a once through before we do the episode, do you? No. Uh, Jack. Academy Award winner, Octavia Spencer. That's right. It doesn't say that there. I just want to. I know, but I just I just want to highlight the disrespect you were putting. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Here. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing here. And I've heard you guys disrespecting Undertaker all episodes long. <laughs> once again. Stop putting that name in my Same mouth. Level. I didn't. Same level. You, haven't you, mentioned him. I have no WWE him. Hall of Fame. You're the only person that's mentioned him. Come back from the dead multiple times. No one, no one here seems to even bat an eye. Uh, Jax, uh, what do you think about Spirit? Oh, you guys, I am so excited for this one. I'm going to see it opening day, and I never go. I rarely go to the movies. I don't think I, I think I've been to the movies once in the last five years. I'm so excited about this. I love I love a Christmas Carol. It doesn't matter how many times I see it, community theater, like remakes. I love it. Ryan Reynolds is really funny. Will Ferrell, I'm really excited to see Octavia Spencer and Will Ferrell have like what might be a little bit of a romance. I don't know. It's just giving me all the Christmas feels. It's going to be really funny, and I cannot wait to see it and get a slushy and have popcorn. Yeah. I was sad to see that. I don't think it's playing in any regals, which yeah. kind of oh. ruins it for us. Yeah, It is getting a theatrical release somewhere in some places November 11th before dropping yeah. November 18th on Apple TV+. Plus. That's right. I believe it's primarily AMC theaters from what yeah. I gather. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, so you guys only do regal? I don't think I yeah, do we don't. Well, we AMC. only have regal. Yeah, we only oh, have regal. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So... Better loyal so to your rating? Am I, yeah, what's your rating? Oh, mine's five. Five Christmas sweaters. Five, five, I'm five. saving some Got cream, um, but five. Five Wonderful ugly what? Christmas sweaters. Um, Alonza? <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, I also love A Christmas Carol. Uh, this seems like it's at least a partially a musical, so that is a, is a bonus for me. Um, I am a little nervous about it because I, I, I'm... I, I have found myself at something of the end of my Ryan Reynolds tether of late. Like mm -hmm. I love the Deadpool movies, but he keeps doing Deadpool in other movies. And I am kind of getting between like free guy and whatever the thing was on Netflix. And then the other thing was on Netflix. I'm just sort of like, <laughs> eh. but I'm, I'm hoping this is an actual character for him to play and we'll have other things. So uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I might regret this later, but I'm all in five ugly sweaters and a cream for spirited. I don't oh. and a cream. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that Will Farrell would be do doing another Christmas movie unless he thought it was going to be amazing. Yeah. That's my True. opinion. I th I think that this is going to be something really special. I'm very excited about this. I'm also not a huge Reynolds fan. Uh but I think that him with Will could be really fun. So I I the pr the trailer was a dynamite. Got me very excited about it. I'm all in on this one five Christmas sweaters. Yeah, I I'm excited about this movie. I don't know how you couldn't be excited about the movie. Um, this is not a movie, though, that can be bad and fun. Like, if this movie's bad, <laughs> it's just going to be like letting the air out of the balloon bad. Yeah. There isn't no, like, there's no, like, you know, it comes back around again like California Christmas or something. You know what I mean? Like, this is like a movie that if it's bad, you're like, oh, no. Oh, no, it's bad. Um, and so that's a little disconcerting. Uh, but the two, the three leads... Uh, the idea of it, putting this much money behind a Christmas movie. I mean, how can you not get excited about something like that? This is this is what what it's really about here, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's go four and a half Christmas sweaters for this one. And I don't know what else we've got, so I don't know how I can't cream this one as well. So, cream for Lohan, cream for uh, Spirited, that, that all checks out. Um, let's take a break, and we'll come back, and we'll uh, handle the rest of these here on Deck the Homework. Uh, we're back, everybody. We're previewing uh, non-Hallmark Christmas movies. There are hundreds that we could have chosen. Uh, we've we've got it down to nine. Uh, so sorry. That's yeah, and not lifetime. Leave. I know. I know. We've yeah. That's yeah, right. We've already done so all we, of lifetime. So minus Hallmark and minus all of lifetime. I think we still, still had a about hundred. 100. Yeah. Uh, so we still got it down to nine. I, I don't um, see any up TV on the list here. Although, can I just say, guys, I'm regretting not because I saw a he trailer. Couldn't he couldn't stop for a movie, and the premise is two people. You know the old. Oh, uh, we've double booked an Airbnb. <laughs> this yeah. is a we double sold a house. 
These two people get to the house. They both find out that they've both bought the house. And somebody, yes. I don't know who he is, he says, all right, here's what we're going to do. First person to leave the house loses. Yes. It's like you got to keep your hand on the car. Situation. Hands on a hard body, exactly. And, I, and I'm just telling you. I can't imagine this being a full movie, but Bram was all in. It is uh, hanging and it's out. It's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas <laughs> yeah. movie. Yes, yeah. wow. I believe. I, my guess is they're going to figure out a way to decorate this sucker. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, without leaving the house. I'm very oh, maybe, but maybe if they both leave the premise at the same time and go get a Christmas tree and bring it back, it doesn't count. I don't know. It is in my DVR. I'll be watching that later. Uh, let's Ooh. talk about the Noel Diary on Netflix. Uh, this is streaming Thursday, November 24th. So get your turkey, get your mashed taters, uh, and sit down and watch The Noel Diary. Uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't say who's, okay, here we go. Uh, when best selling author Jake Turner, played by Justin Hartley, uh, returns home at Christmas to settle his estranged mother's estate, I've seen this one, uh, he discovers a diary, okay, that may hold secrets to his own past. And that of Rachel, paid, played by uh, Barrett Doss, uh, an intriguing young woman on a mission. <laughs> You're an intriguing young woman on a mission of her own. Together, they embark on a journey to confront their past and discover a future that's totally unexpected. Essence Atkins, Bonnie Bedella, <laughs> and James Ramar co-star. Jax, let's start with you. I feel like Alonzo looked like he needed to sit, get something off his chest. Bedelia. Bedelia. She's in I Die was, Hard, uh, Bran. I was, I was all the out love of this him. movie until I found out Bonnie Bedilla was in it. And now I'm back in. Bonnie Bedilla reels me back in. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Sorry, Bedilla. She is Christmas royalty, and you will recognize her as such. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Brad. I just had it. I, I, I couldn't let the moment pass with, without. Do you um, know who Bonnie Padilla is, Jax? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but not. But not. Star, as well star as... of the popular children's books, Amila Padilla. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, Brad, not as well as the, these two do. So I, okay. I'm with you. I, I get. Thank it. you. Um, <gasps> if only she'd I... won a championship belt. <laughs> By falling off of the hell in a cell. I'm sorry, Jax. No, no, don't be sorry. Um, so this movie to me, the, I'll start with the negative. It doesn't seem like it has particularly Christmas feels for me. Mm, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to really get me in my feelings. Uh, it looks like the acting's really good. Justin Hartley is so charismatic. I didn't watch This Is Us, so I don't have that to go off of. I don't really know his work, and I don't really know Barrett Doss's work either, but in the trailer, they both are so charming. They look like they have really good chemistry, and I think it's going to make me cry, which I'm excited about, um, but it's not going to keep me in like my Christmas mood, so I'm going to give it... I'm going to go ahead and give it four ugly Christmas sweaters. Okay. Wow. What? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it looks – I like also that he's like this mystery writer and that he's got a lot of dark stuff in his past. And then she finds her mom's journal and there's a lot of stuff in her past. Like I just think – you know what You know what I love both in real life and in movies? I like accelerated emotional intimacy that is going to end in disaster in real life. But in movies, <laughs> it's great. Uh, Alonzo? Well, if if these Hallmark and all these other movies have taught me anything, it's that people wait until Christmas to deal with dead relatives and their <laughs> diaries. So That's right. uh, I'm getting a lot of holiday feels off of that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I also did not watch uh, This Is Us, but uh, Justin Hartley is super charming in uh, A Bad Mom's Christmas. Uh -huh. uh, so that kind of has me psyched to see him in this. Barrett Doss I liked on Iron Fist. Um, Essence Atkins is terrific. And Bonnie Bedelia and James Remar. <laughs> I agree. So so ca cast wise, I think they've got this this sewn up. Yeah, plot wise, uh, this could be the same old same old, but we'll see. So uh, I'm gonna go once again with a with a three ugly sweater. I'm unsure about how like 
much of like a mystery is going on in this movie it sounds like there's a mystery component to it like you like a I mystery i do like a mystery uh christmas mystery give it to me uh yeah. apparently ion has gone all into christmas mysteries because yes. all four of their movies are christmas mysteries the which, most wonderful crime of the year wow well, very well done right. on, yeah. on theirs um does final have ion uh, they got to right i i don't know uh, Ayana, find out. Um, so give me two Christmas sweaters on this one. Dan. The one mystery here is how B E D E L I A could be Badilla. <laughs> There's no way you look at that word and say Badilla. There That's most not... certainly is a way. Uh, cause I did. Um, this movie sounds like it sucks out loud. It, uh, but it does have really good, a really good cast. Uh, Bonnie Bedelia, James Remar, uh, Hartley, plenty of that to go around. For the cast alone, I'll give it one ugly Christmas sweater. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, up next is Scrooge, A Christmas Carol. No, this isn't spirited, everybody. <laughs> Are we doing Violet Night in this? Uh, it's not on the list, but look it Man. up. Because um, it was a theater boy, but. I mean, sure. add it. I don't care. Uh, Scrooge, A Christmas Carol, net streaming Friday, December 2nd. Charles Dickens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ageless Legend is reborn. This in a supernatural time traveling CG animated musical adaptation of so the many definitive words. Christmas story. <laughs> Uh, just to run it back real quick, uh, it is a supernatural time traveling CG animated musical, fun time palooza, uh, other words, adaptation of the definitive Christmas story. With his very soul on the line, Scrooge has but one Christmas Eve left to face his past and build a better future. The voice ensemble includes Luke Evans, Olivia Coleman, Jessica Buckley. And Jonathan Price. Jack? Close. So I love, love, love Olivia Coleman. I don't really get into animation ever. Sorry. Uh, so I'm not excited about it other than listening to Olivia Coleman. So I am. Again, cautiously optimistic that this one could change my mind, but I'm going to go ahead and give it. I'm going to give it two and a half ugly Christmas sweaters. Okay. I'm taking a page out of Alonzo's book with the shrug. That's, yes. that's what I'm going to do for this bad boy here. So I'm like excited and trepidatious about this one because a thing that they don't mention in this blurb is that the musical adaptation is reworking all of the Leslie Bricka songs from the 1970 movie Scrooge starring Albert Finney, which is my one of my favorite if not my favorite christmas carol adaptations uh brand and i watched it earlier this year for 25 weeks of christmas it he did. enjoyed it thoroughly uh i love that movie so much and i love those songs so much so part of me is like great yes another another movie with those songs awesome and then part of me is like oh but this could go wrong in so many ways so i i i i'm i'm, I'm torn i want this to be good because i love the, the movie that it's based on so much and the, the songs that they are repurposing so much, but who knows? It's always going to be a crapshoot. So I'm going to say four ugly Christmas sweaters and a cream. Okay. Fair enough. That's a good use of a cream for you. Um, yeah. I'm in it. Like how much do you think they're going to like rep like, how different are the songs going to be? I wonder. Uh, I, 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 I honestly don't know. I mean, obviously they're going to be re-performed with these, you know, new uh, actors right. and stuff, but like, uh, we'll see. Um, I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I'll give it three Christmas sweaters. Um, you know, can you really have too many Christmas carols? <laughs> Apparently Let's find not. out. Let's the find out. Cause this will be my um, third, third of the of year the season. So. New of the <laughs> season. Let's just keep going. Let's get the good, good vibes going. Yeah. Um, I did get a note from Brian Harold, who's in here here, but he also texted me that a badilla is an illegal wrestling move only allowed in the Mexican province of Zoncana. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. See, then that, that's, that's on me. Tip of that's on me. There we go. I always, I always, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, always yeah. right there in yeah, the back. Yeah, that Mexican province that we just butchered the nonsense out of in uh, <laughs> Lifetime on Court. Uh, you mean Oaxaca? Oaxaca. 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 Yes. 
We knew it. I would never. I would never. Would never. So here's the thing: is we're I'm I, I, Christmas Carol's fine. It's great. I an animated version of the Christmas of a Christmas Carol does nothing for me. I will watch anything Olivia Coleman's in. These two things are at odds with each other. Um, <laughs> I uh, and so I like I think if if possible, and I didn't get into the Crown until later on. I finally started watching it, and she's just like so many people in there are rated incredibly high, and somehow I feel like we kind of forgot about how great Olivia Coleman is in that show because she's unreal. I I have to give it at least one for her, so I'm going to give it one for Olivia Coleman. Um, I guess all about Olivia Coleman. Yeah. The, me and you, Jax, think, let's do it. I would, I really would. It can get dark and fun. Cause she's done a lot of dark. Yeah. Stuff. The Coleman cast, that. the Cole yeah. Coleman cast. cast. Yes. The Coleman cast. Um, a few more, uh, Jacqueline Collier's fit for Christmas. Jacqueline <laughs> Collier presents a Jacqueline Collier's fit for Christmas. Right? Top billing twice. Yes, top billing. I didn't know that we were allowed to use our name uh, presenting in a movie that we're in. Uh, but now that I know that it's we can. New. It's never been done before. Mm. Uh, 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 very excited. CBS getting in on the game with a couple of movies. We're talking about them. Uh, this one is airing Sunday, December 4th. Apparently, at the popular starting time of 8.30 p.m. Um, they're off to after a good start football. It's after football. Uh, after oh, football. It's after football. Okay, okay. Um, this is the holiday tale of Audrey, played by Amanda Klutz, an enthusiastic Christmas-obsessed fitness instructor teaching classes at her beloved financially beleaguered... Be beleaguered? Be <laughs> beleaguered. Beleaguered. I thought you said her last name was, but what is it? Be Bedelia. Uh, <laughs> uh, her financial Bedelia. Uh, community center in quaint Bled mistletoe. Bledgered. Montana. It just bledgered right on out there, didn't it? Uh, she begins a, there's a lot of vowels. There was a lot of vowels in that word. I don't know. They all work together. Uh, she oh. begins a holiday romance with a charming, mysterious businessman, played by Paul Green, without a name, um, complicated his plans to turn the center into a more financially profitable resort property. Klutz co-wrote this film and serves as the EP. Good on her. Jax, you think it's going to be good? What do you think, Jax? Okay, well, obviously I'm partial because I have a small part in it, but Anna White wrote this, and she's one of my favorite writers, and I think Paul Green and Amanda have really great chemistry. Um, I've read the script. I think it's really good. I think it's really funny. I think it's elevated. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cream myself. I've been waiting for it. Uh, Dan, Dan's not creaming me, which I'm sad about. He didn't save any of his creams. That's Paul right. Green would actually recommend that you not, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can do that. I don't know. Man, man, this is so easy. Even don't. We have bledgered the heck out of the cream. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, guys, I don't wear any hats in this movie, so I had to oh, rely on my acting ability alone. Wow. So we'll see how it goes. What are you we'll giving it? Are you, I'm giving you it give five. Yes, I have five ugly Christmas sweaters and a cream. Just one yeah. cream, though. Right. I, I'm I'm a little torn here because I watched the two CBS movies last year and they were very kind of like mm, they, they were like the kind of ones that don't quite make the Hallmark cut and then wind up somewhere else, which is exactly wow. what happened, obviously. Um also, any movie about uh, a fitness uh, in any way gets me very gun shy because I think about that Hallmark movie where they put what's his face in a fat suit. Uh and Ugh. I just think Chris are we Russell, gonna be yeah. Chris, yes, thank you, Christopher Russell. Are we going to be like torturing overweight people in this movie? And the fact that Paul Green in this, this is not necessarily like giving me confidence in that regard. <laughs> However, it does feature one Jacqueline Collier, and so for that, I will of course be glued to my set at eight thirty p.m. on Sunday, December fourth, on CBS. So I'm going to say two ugly Christmas sweaters, um, so that Jacqueline has a choice as to which one she would like to wear. Alonzo, Alonzo is going to be really torn because there's a chance he might have to watch the end of a football game or watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not gonna know what to do. What do I do? 
That's what the mute button's for, baby. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Um, Jack, someone someone can text who... us Alonzo. We don't have to watch the football. <laughs> it's all... yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. Uh, Jack says, somebody who's been on a Hallmark Channel movie set, a Up TV movie set, and now a CBS Network television Christmas movie set. Uh, what is it? Is it? Are they all pretty similar? Did this one feel like it had a little extra um, moolah lying around? To speak to that, they all felt very similar. Um, also, okay. Brad Curvoy produced yep. this one, and he produces a he produced a lot. Of I Hallmark assume he ones. produced every movie this year. That's kind of my <laughs> running assumption. <laughs> he did a lot. He did a lot. I would say this this budget, from what I gather, was about the same for a Hallmark movie. Okay. Although I do feel like that. Um, CBS as a network and the way that they were involved in some of the changes and the care and attention they put into it, um, it went through a lot more rewrites and got a lot more attention than I think a normal Hallmark movie would, but not more money. More attention, and but not more the, money. The cast of young Sheldon is working the crafty table. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Shout out to young Sheldon, uh, who is richer than Will ever be ever. <laughs> um, uh up next no oh, i we haven't, oh, we haven't even yet. gone wow. wait this wait Bram, clear, what did you give it Are you... clearly five christmas sweaters uh, okay. uh, i am gonna hold on to my cream though uh, okay oh, that's wow. to be expected it's okay uh uh i uh i'm worried about the movie with start time being what it is because it, if football goes long, like we've seen it, old people get mad about 60 minutes regularly, like when it doesn't start on time. So I don't want it to get, you know, bet like bledgered in the ratings uh, because it doesn't start on time. But I, I, uh, I, Thank you. Good use. I, I, Good use. Um, I want this to succeed. I want it to succeed because I think it would be cool to have a Christmas movie of the week on broadcast television. I, I think that would be fun. And maybe that would, uh, you know, give some impetus to like make them better and make them put, put a bigger budget behind them. Um, do I have high hopes for this outside of one, uh, Jacqueline Collier, who's a delight, uh, across the board. Uh, no, I don't have high hopes for this. I don't, uh, if I, I just don't, I could get into why more specifically, but I think we've covered it. Um, well, I will offline give, about it. I will give this <laughs> two ugly Christmas sweaters, both of which go to Jacqueline Carter. I don't. Well, I so just, you got more Christmas sweaters than Olivia Coleman. So even though I didn't cream it, I want to be very clear: double the acting sweaters that Coleman got. I I didn't know anything about Amanda Clutes until yesterday, um, and I watched a video with her, and she's delightful. She seems very fun. Yeah, well, she's great, and she has a really great following. She's done a lot of Broadway, and she's co-host on the talk. But this is her first time doing a movie. Uh, like like being, um, yeah, first time screen, acting in a movie. Screen. And yeah. I mean, from what it looks like, she did an amazing job. So I'm excited Good to see how her. the whole thing plays out. Um, up next, another CBS joint, Must Love Christmas, December Ooh. 11th, 9 p.m. A renowned romance novelist, Liza, Le, uh, played by Eliza Lapira, uh, famous for her Christmas themed books, finds herself snowbound. In the charming town of Cranberry Falls. Oh my God. There, she unexpectedly becomes involved in a love triangle with her childhood crush, Nathan Witt, and a reporter, one Neil Bledsoe. Boo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neil was great. Yeah. Neil was great. <laughs> Determined to interview her to save his dying magazine. A love triangle, guys. Uh, Jax, what do you think about this one? So, um, I really like, and Bran, I'm not correcting your pronunciation. I don't know the pronunciation. I always pronounced it Nathan Witty, but I don't know how it's pronounced. But I really like him in a lot of the Hallmark movies that we've seen. I like Neil Bledsoe. Um, this is tricky, right? Because there, I couldn't find a trailer of this one. Uh -huh. So um, it, CBS, you better get on it with creating trailers, by the way, and pushing them out there because I didn't see a fit for Christmas one either. Uh, this one... Neil was intriguing online. He 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 looked like he was having fun on set. So I'm going to go ahead and give this for Nathan and for Neil. I'm going to give it three ugly Christmas sweaters, but I, I'm too in the dark about it to really fully commit to it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alonzo? Uh, this plot sounds like a Mad Lib. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. down hey, to Cranberry Falls. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> blank a renowned job famous for her <laughs> christmas themed yeah anyway um but yeah look i i got to spend quality time with neil bledsoe at christmas con anaheim or pasadena wherever the hell it was and uh, he's he's a mensch he's he's smart and he's funny and i like him in these movies nathan witty i enjoyed him in the the merry little trilogy on lifetime uh but yeah beyond that i yeah, so uh, they get the two two ugly christmas sweaters they each get one and that's that's it um three ugly christmas sweaters for my guy neil bledsoe and i'm also getting a cream neil uh yes wow yeah. we see where Jax, we see yeah jax has got I questions jax has got questions hold on hold that's on. tough man that's tough she's literally on the program but i said five <laughs> you you get five that's christmas unbelievable sweaters. but no cream. Know what, guys, I, guys i'm a feminist i can cream myself <laughs> I Fine. gave you five Christmas sweaters, pal. You know what? Yeah, you that's right. Yeah, that's right. This is a look. We 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 are all in, we're inclusive here. Brand's creaming Neil Bledsoe. Jax is creaming herself. That's fine. That's, that's right. what we do here. That's right. The way I prefer it, anyway. I want it well. Uh, <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> Just, Carry on. Gonna, it was the mutton chops, wasn't it, Brand? Someone's talking in the chat yes, about it was the mutton, mutton chops. chops. His, I get it. His, but his, his playing Scrooge. I can't do any more Scrooge. I can't, I can't I, do I, it. I, while we saw a lot of mutton chops on his Instagram stories, I can't confirm that that is just a scene. It's not the full movie. Okay. It's not a it's full. Like that's what he chose to reveal, though. Time yeah. I know. Again. I know. I, I want to be very clear. He I knows not, what works. <laughs> I, I was not booing Neil Bledsoe. I was determined to boo the movie as soon as the plot was over. And so uh, <laughs> that was what I was booing. Neil is wonderful. We love that guy. Friend of the show. Might um, be on later this week. Maybe even Neil Bledsoe. Maybe even, maybe even Neil Bledsoe. Uh, I will give this a I will give this a Christmas sweater for my, yeah, my boy. Yeah. Great. Um, last but not least on this list of, uh, out of hundreds, uh, is a Nashville country Christmas. This is going to be a Paramount, uh, plus joint. It's airing in December with the exact date unknown. You might be asking why we're we talking about this. Hold on. Overwhelmed by her high powered agent, a bombastic Hollywood director and a totally tricked out off base holiday spectacular. <laughs> From the top there. Okay. Overwhelmed by her high power agent, a bombastic Hollywood director, and a totally dricked out off base Hollywood spectacular. Holiday spectacular. <laughs> a country music superstar bolts from her outrageous lifestyle, seeking a haven at her grandma's Tennessee farm. Oh, dear gracious. Rather than refuge, she finds romance when she reconnects with her handsome ex, uh, return to her musical roots, and an unexpected family when she discovers three clever kids who've outsmarted the foster system or, wow, are living at the family homestead at Christmas. It's starring Tanya Tucker, Keith Carradine, T Tanya Tucker, Anya right. Ortiz, Kimberly <laughs> Williams Pagely, and Olivia Sanabia. And directed, directed by, by Ashley Williams. Ashley Williams. Ashley Smashley Williams. Oh, uh, Jax, what do you think about that? I honestly, I am still a little bit confused by that synopsis. Uh, <laughs> but what are you thinking of it? Are you, are, you, are you excited? Oh, you guys. Ashley Williams. Kimberly Williams Paisley. Tanya freaking Tucker, this 100%. There wasn't a trailer, which bummed me out. I couldn't find one. But I am giving this five Christmas sweaters and a cream. I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. Yeah. Go fight win. Go fight win. <laughs> Tanya Tucker all the way. I mean, Tanum. if I just had Tanya Tucker, I would still cream it. If I just had Kimberly Williams Paisley, same. Ashley Williams, any of these women in and of themselves, I would be thrilled about this movie, but the three of them combined, I cannot wait to see this. Is this going to be the equivalent of uh, Kimberly Williams Paisley as the ghost of Christmas present uh, in the <laughs> national yeah. movie where she was in it for like two minutes? Nashville Christmas Carol. Yeah. Uh, maybe she's the uh, country music superstar. I, I, maybe. I, can't I, I, I don't know based off of this. Uh, Alonzo? 
Maybe she's one of the foster kids. I, any, anything can happen. <laughs> it could be anything. Uh, no, I'm I'm also very pumped about this. Uh, Ashley Williams, I have long been a fan of, even before she cosplayed as me at the Deckies yeah, last year. That's true. Uh, that's amazing. But yeah, I think she's awesome. Um, Tanya Tucker is having a great year. There's a new documentary about her that's coming out. So timing couldn't be better to sort of uh, capitalize on this newfound appreciation of this icon who has been with us for decades keith carradine by the way was in robert altman's nashville so yes. i like the carry over there of nashville movies and yeah kimberly williams kimberly williams paisley not only like super charming and fun but here she had to do what her sister told her so like how fun wow. is her that? younger sister yes yeah. her younger sister is the boss of her Man. which i'm i'm here for so yeah five ugly christmas sweaters for sure um, yeah, I love Ashley Williams. I'm so happy that she's getting an opportunity to direct one of these movies. Fantastic. Um, Dan and I were in talks of being able to go down there. It didn't work out. It's true. And we'll save that story for another day. Yep. Uh, but we love Ashley Williams. She's so great and so happy for her. It's five Christmas sweaters for me. And if I had a cream, I would cream it. Uh, because we were in talks like negotiations yeah. stalled. <laughs> It wasn't that at all. Uh, that was not it. Uh, but they wouldn't this, pay us. The story yeah. was it for a different day. <laughs> um, listen, Ashley Williams lights up any room she's in. She's incredibly dynamic. She is such a funny, fun personality, a great communicator. But her eyes light up even more when she gets to talk about directing. And there's a good reason for that. I saw her short film called Meets. She has an eye for this. She's been trying and she's been banging at that door for a while. This is so exciting. And she, this movie, the plot sounds like a labyrinthine of, of things that I don't want any part of. Don't care. Tanya Tucker, Kim Williams Paisley, and my girl Ashley Williams behind the camera, calling the shots, telling people what's what and who's who. Yes, absolutely. Three Christmas sweaters for Dan. Pretty. Uh, we did it. We did we it. We did it. And an hour is all it took. <laughs> um, There's a lot of wrestling talk we can get out of there. We'll get all the cream <laughs> stuff's got to stay, though. <laughs> we'll get to the uh, the next 90, uh, and it's going to take 90 <laughs> hours. Uh, so buckle up. Uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with uh, some Hallmark Christmas movie maybe reviews. Even, uh, maybe and even. then we'll be back uh, next Monday with the first Deck the Netflix of the season. Uh, Lindsay Lohan uh, movie. The Lohan uh, The Lohan Assange is beginning right here on Dead Homework. Uh, until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Millis name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com.